All right, so I've played seven minutes of Gris, and I was downstairs. It's first off, it's a Saturday night, and it's late, and I'm sitting on the couch, and I'm like, I need to go through some games for any for breakfast. And there's a couple of interesting games that have been thrown at me lately. Below, which is a game that I saw like many months or many many years back, um, Tanneros had given me that, and I was like, cool, I'm gonna play that. And I played that for about 45 minutes. And then I was like, okay, well, let me try this other game that just came out, Gris. And this was actually given to me by Hohan. Uh, thank you again, sir. Uh, because this game is visually so striking uh, that I decided it's not going to be chill on the couch on a Saturday night and play, you know, a few games here and there. It's going to be get your ass upstairs and start the indie for breakfast right this second uh because i could already tell that this game is going to be a bit of um it, it's a basically it's an adventure it's a, it's it's a it's a novel um but i don't want to say a novel because there's some negative connotations to that <laughs> but there's some storytelling here uh and i don't miss and i know that the way it's going to be unveiled is going to be just phenomenal and so i don't want to say ruin like the middle section of the game you know what i'm saying i don't want to like come in and be like Oh yeah, so I've been playing this game for two hours. <laughs> Here's some mid-game spoilers. No, no, no. We're gonna go through from the beginning together. Uh, now there is a very long uh, section here where, where the oh, I should just go and watch. Actually, this is definitely worth a watch. I'll just shut up. So, right about here is when I decided, oh shit, I gotta go upstairs right this second. Uh, there is a point here where she's going to land, and we're gonna be able to walk, and uh, here's what I'll say. So a lot of, I'm sure a lot of you guys who watch streams and everything, you know that, my stream specifically, uh, I have an affinity for the Yellow Submarine. Um, the Beatles, it's the Beatles uh, cartoon from the uh, 60s, 70s, late 60s. Um, I absolutely love that art style. So, I'm that art. This art style is very similar to the work done in that uh, in that movie. So, I'm telling you this because I want you to know that I'm immediately biased towards the the graphics, just basically based off of uh, my my again my affinity for the Yellow Submarine. But what's really cool and what was jaw dropping to me is. When you land here, you have the ability to actually control your character. And so, <laughs> for me, it was like, holy shit, like my, my whole life, I've had this admiration for this art style. Um, and now I'm actually able to, you know, control somebody in that space uh if you if you are a fan of, i mean I, I, if you if you watch anime i'm sure you're very familiar with this with this you know revelation uh is being so in love with a certain art style uh and then realizing that there's a next level 
of experience that you could have with that uh with that art style uh and that is where i'm at here where it's like we just do the slow walk uh, all the way to this point and now we have full control over this piece <laughs> And so, yeah, it's like if you play anime and then, uh, or sorry, if you uh, watch Dragon Ball Z and then you play like a Dragon Ball Z game and you're just like, wow, it looks exactly like the anime. Like you're, it's, you're, you're already familiar with this concept, with this, uh, this feeling. Um, also, I'll say that the game very intentionally frames things, you know, notice that it put the, uh, it puts this branch here right at the very peak of the hill. You have a very kind of an even distribution of uh, of rocks going down the left and right side. And since the peak is right here, you're kind of inclined to just stop at the top of the hill. Of course, you reach the peak, you stop. That's what we, we know to do this in regular life. And so because of the branch and the branch, the way it's curved and the rocks and the top of the hill, it's basically saying, frame me like this is a this is a picture. This is a wallpaper. Um, there's lots of areas like, th like this, and you'll read reviews that will say, hey, every frame could be a wallpaper, right? Which you could say that about a lot of games. You know, it's like, oh, every this whole game is so beautiful, every frame could be a wallpaper. Um, but this game very specifically adds the moments where it says, you should stop here, because yes, this whole game is beautiful, but I specifically set up this area for you to stop and take a look at. This is another one. This is a, a well-balanced image. The larger object on the right-hand side is about 50% gray versus the two darker objects on the left-hand side. So even though the left left objects are are smaller, uh, the darker have more prominence versus the one in the back. Not to mention the branch is darker going around to the right-hand side, so that provides balance. So I, I, I realized I could hear myself like going off on this very, like, artsy <laughs> a take or it's a very artsy um you know uh approach to this thing <laughs> like i'm some kind of art decor guy but anyway so uh <laughs> this is this one's very clearly framed right i mean this was obvious they they take you to the top here and then you know they stop you um but yeah i mean i, I just i just recognize the beauty in it and I could see the deliberateness that the artist, uh, the developer, put into this. Those rocks actually have physics. I have no idea what the story is or how it's going to unfold. Uh, it does seem like a very metaphor, uh, metaphorically driven game. Like a lot of this very surrealness. So this is obviously all one giant metaphor for something. Losing her voice in the palm of somebody's hand like that. So what does she represent? Does she... Is the palm of the hand the person? Um, there is a short, there is a short um, description, and it it kind of gives you a picture. Actually, let me go ahead. I'll read it right now. Uh, can I? Uh, yes, I can. So it says, "Gris is a hopeful young girl lost in her own world, dealing with a painful with a painful experience in her life. Her journey through sorrow is manifested in her dress, which grants new abilities to better navigate her faded reality." So. The rest is just as as the um, it's another wallpaper. Uh, as she <clears throat> progresses through this, uh, she 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 grows. Uh, what does it say? She grow. She will grow emotionally and all this stuff. So, so yeah, it's you still don't one. You still wonder if the hand is a person and this is a, an emotion that is currently, you know, being worked through. Or if the girl who fell is the one experiencing the loss, as you saw, she lost her voice. Or is it both? This is the overthinking edition of uh, Indie for Breakfast. <laughs> now I got this thing that's following me. The music shifted too. Unless that is part of the... Uh, Sound effect this thing is making. Hmm. Pulse. Uh oh. Oh, we reached an end here. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Now we get to push buttons. <clears throat> oh, she started walking there for a second. What if the game just wants you to turn around, and come back? Hmm. 
Oh, interesting. I can't go back this way. All right. I'm pushing other buttons I've not yet pushed. Oh, get out of that. Okay, now I'm long pushing buttons. Hmm. Oh, you can jump off on these platforms. Oh my god. I for I, that long pause there was me thinking, what did I even do? Like, how did I mess this up? Is that one? Yes, it is. Can I push down and jump? Yes, I can. Oh my gosh. I didn't, I didn't see the, uh, I just didn't see the layers here. I see a bunch of objects here that, no, nothing can be done here. Okay. Lots of physics. Everything's bouncing around here. Strange, and also a circular item on the left hand side. Anyways, yeah, I didn't see the layers. Um, thankfully, it didn't take too long. <laughs> so, how can I activate it, or do I walk? Oh, why do I fall? Oh, we're right back down here. You never know. <laughs> Let's take a jump on this. Yes, I can. And then on this. Make our way back up. That rock is moving uphill. I believe it has feet, actually. I just glanced, took a glance at that tiny stone moving uphill. And, and obviously note that these the screen zooms all the way out like this, so... Very difficult to see nuances sometimes. Um, and I thought I could have swore I had feet. I could have swore I had feet. When we take it here, can't go back. But I believe we might be on the other side of that area that uh, we were trying to jump up to. Whoa. Is this a layer I can jump on? Is this a, a fez style? No, that's a thing in the background. Holy crap. I was gonna, oh, there's stairs inside here. Um, I'm mesmerized by this giant thing. This one's actually doing something, it seems. Didn't do it last time. Ah, I believe it's the number of things following you that determines what you can do. Yes, it is. Got it. The complexity is based off of, uh, is relying on the numbers that you have following you. Interesting. feel a bit silly that I missed those layers there. I just assumed the whole game was going to be very, very two-dimensional and very straightforward because it's not supposed to be a, a game about combat. Lots of hands here. Hmm. I'm pushing nothing, clearly. Man, what a shot. Hmm. Red. You know, there's... They're definitely skirting the line to pretentiousness. Like, I could see it because I try to look... When I look at things, I try to look at it from multiple perspectives, right? And I definitely feel like, as I look at this, it's like, I could see how somebody could look at this and say, hmm, there's a little pretentiousness there. Red. <laughs> it's like the White Album, you know? <laughs> uh, my light.
enlightened. What is this? Where are these guys going? <clears throat> but I would say that is uh, uh, deserve it of any kind of conceitedness or <laughs> self appreciation uh, by overdoing it with some of these scenes because the game truly is beautiful. Hmm. Oh, oops. Actually, I want to go down first here to explore. Ah. Uh, does she turn and look at the door? No, she does not. Okay. So we have, uh, what is that? Seven dots at the bottom and a constellation thing at the top there. Music changed a little bit there. I wonder if that was a natural progression or if it's because I moved. Okay, hmm. Can't make that jump. Making sure. I'm sure there's gonna be like secret areas that are, uh... Why can't we jump down here, huh? Interesting. Interesting! Um, yeah, but there's secret areas that you just basically walk into. I can walk into a, a wall. Let's go and jump down. No fall damage, by the way. Oh, cannot go back. All right. Well, what am I? What am I missing now? Jeez. Let's do recap uh, what was over here. Yeah, just this thing. I didn't push any buttons in front of it though. Oh shit. Oh damn, okay. I thought there for sure there'd be something else up there. Let you go all the way to the top. I wonder if there's a way to cross later on or probably nothing actually. Well this is cool looking. Definitely an experience game, right? These guys are going to sell so many t-shirts. Alright, we got a save point here. <clears throat> hmm. I am uh, actually uh, very much looking forward to reading the comments on this particular video. Because this is not a game that people would necessarily go out of their way to play unless somebody super huge like Total Biscuit was like, this is my game of the year, i.e. Journey. Um, and so, yeah, unless that's happening around the block, then, uh, oh wow, hey, the game just started. Yeah, unless it's happening around the block, then uh, it's difficult to get kind of the traction that would uh, put it in front of you guys' face where it's like, oh yeah, I trust a, a person I trust. Who makes content is uh is working on or made a video about this thing. I should watch it. Of course, that's why you guys all watch me. Of course. Beautiful man, man oh man, I'm so sold on this. Change directions if I want to. That was like the end of chapter one. A prologue. So now we're in the red world. Got some pyramids in the back. We just had rocks and stones in the back on the last one, if you remember. It was a long time ago. Huh. Lots of man-made objects, so... Refined objects, not just stones. Ruins, hold up. Whoa! I just played another game that this was remind this reminded me of. We had the um 
the kind of like land zeppelin of sorts where you basically had to keep fuel in it and you know, it was very it was a very sparse and very minimalistic uh approach to the video you had to basically run all over the ship to keep it powered so you could keep moving forward and very story t basically storytelling through long drawn out game mechanics <laughs> it really was i was like i'm rolling this bitch forever good thing i know about the background slash foreground objects huh <laughs> master platformer Music's great. I mean, like, I feel like that should be, like, given right now at this point. Like, it should be it should be pretty compelling enough that nobody's out here saying, well, I wonder if Mike B likes it, if he's going to mention it. If he doesn't mention it, maybe. <laughs> it's like, no, Mike B would be an idiot to not mention this, con this, this soundtrack. Oh, man. We still had one continuous scene this entire time. There have been no I'm trying to think, make sure I'm not incorrect in saying this, but yeah, there's been no loading screens, no like go from one door into another when you go into a dungeon room type thing. I mentioned that specifically because of let's go and eat the storm here. Of below. Oh, let me, let me guess. I'm protected inside. I sure am. Oh. Yeah. I just noticed, yeah, this guy was not moving. Huh. This one does not have a background backdrop. I wonder if a backdrop is the very specific thing that... Damn it. That, um... Denotes whether or not something is inside or outside. And it looks like that is the case. I got another one now. Make our way back up. Like I said, little feet. They disappear when you get close. That was not random physics. Alright, this will be fun. Hey, oh! Whoa, I did not know that. Huh. I do have a button I can hit that makes her kneel. Um, I don't think I actually pushed it once. Oh, it does not seem to work. Oh, maybe it only worked in the walking phase. The very initial walking phase after she made that huge drop, uh, you were actually able to um, hit a button and she'll drop to her knees. Does not seem to be present now. Let me see if it blows me back. It does. Okay, so that initial gust is going to blow me back no matter what. Got it. What if I jump into it? I can jump into it. You can't jump very far, though. It'll be a last-ditch effort of, oh my god. <laughs> I must do something now. Can I get far enough away from this ledge? There we go. Question is, oh, yep. I was gonna, I was gonna say, is it, uh... How timer-based is it? Oh, man, look at this. Just rub it on our face. Jesus, man, I can't print screen like every every frame. Can we break? Question is, yeah, if I hang out here, will that storm come back? Or was it triggered by my location? Let me take a drink. We'll sit here and wait. <sighs> Mystery solved. Good. Good, good, good. It seemed random initially. Not random, but like it wasn't triggered by location, but I just wanted to confirm that. <gasps> like I said, legs. Oh, what happens to this dude? Oh, hold on, I'm still moving here. I'm just, I'm just along for the ride. has none issues with the storm. What is that eye thing? I can't get to it. Can I? No? Oh, I guess if I would have dropped down here. Damn. Can I go back? <laughs> well, I'll have to wait now. 
can push it, do it. Nope. Yeah, I probably could have jumped down. Ah, oh, before it, yeah, before it uh, connected. Well, that's something for you guys to go and explore when you go purchase this game. Currently available on Steam for $16.99. That was an odd number. The soundtrack is actually $10. Ah, now we get to see what one of these things does. Oh. I don't know if that thing's the foreground or background. It should be background because it's a solid wall down below. Yep, sure. Oh, of course. Of course. There are some loose rocks above her. I should also know there are some loose rocks at the ledge all the way above. Ah. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. You see? Learn by doing. Did not know this was a thing in this game. Question is... Can I dislodge this somehow? I don't have a, um... A way to, like, dunk on this. Huh. So, I'm guessing this means that the game's gonna make me come back. Get these items. Or, if I would actually think for a moment, this is an opportunity missed. Because I was supposed to hit it as I was falling from this uh, ledge up there. Wow. I really want to start over now. <laughs> Just to get these things. The rocks would not have broke my fall. They would have collapsed and I would have got whatever that circle thing is. How funny. Touche. <laughs> Nomada Studio. Nomada Studio. Publisher Devolver Digital, who's doing basically everything, and has lots of wins. My controller was vibrating through the whole thing. Perfectly in sync with, with the rise and fall of the uh, wind. Oh... Yeah, hold X. Oh my god, I'm Kanye West. <laughs> All right. Wow. Uh, we can't unfortunately make our way back up over here because we have no method of getting up. She just dunks on it. So those kinds of nifty little. Things. I already know the answer is no. I should just turn around and go back up oh, over here. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm tripping. Uh, yeah, no, I should have told you from here. I forgot I could make that jump to go from up to the top ledge. So now we have a thing. Okay. I can't go up. But yeah, I think that other Okay, so I think the top one, even though I had loose rocks on it, those rocks were not for me to go through. The idea was to, or the, the the ideal thing to do would have been to jump through the, uh, or jump up and over before he made landfall and close that connection. So that one is definitely gone. Yeah, I've always had two of these little wisp things, by the way, if you're wondering. Why well, it's, it's, it's totally the wisps. Like, no, because I needed two to open this thing. Just got brick. Actually, wait. Well, can I brick through this thing? This storm. We'll try it next time it blows. <laughs> Bam! Just gonna. Uh. Uh. <laughs> God, I guess let's do that stupid fucking video. I mean, I'm not. I'm not really making any progress, but that was a super long storm. Makes me wonder if that was a. Ah, oh, wow. Oh my gosh. The music with all this too. Oh, what if I stop? Hold up. Did that ruin the flow. Oh, he's gonna hold that note. Oh. Oh, I did ruin the flow. 
Whoops, do to do. Just gonna awkwardly walk through here now. See what you get when you over science things. <laughs> Let me see if there's anything over here. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Before I continue, a little bit of loose exploration. There's a giant moving bug thing. Is probably gonna come back. Mm hmm. I knew they had little feet. That sounds crazy. Questions I have if I brick this guy. Oh, <laughs> he does not care. I wonder what happens if I get squedged in between him and the wall. Okay, this is actually progressing the game farther. Yeah, we have a whole section we've not explored. That I just basically passed, breaking that the wall back there. Not far. Woo. Should we try to get wedged? Oh. Oh. Oh, I guess walk across this thing. Okay, well, do do do. <laughs> <laughs> Did not know that. Wait, do I even. Wait, can I just walk back the other way? No, I think I have to actually do that part. Alright, trying to brick it. No, don't you dare. There we go. There we go. Yeah, let's do this. Uh. Hold up. Can I unbrick? I can't unbrick. I also am not ever gonna go back up there. <laughs> we can we have all that all that space on the right though? I guess we maybe that was the uh alternate route. You got me, game. You got me. Yep. Little wisps trying to keep up. Oh, man. What? What even? Ugh. Disgusting. Disgusting how much this game just wants to, wants to be on your desktop. Oh, I cannot, uh... Huh. It does say in the description, dealing with a painful experience in our life. Metaphor of the game. <clears throat> Very cool, the uh, butterflies, of butterfly effects. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm too busy watching below. I, I Maybe I passed something here. <clears throat> maybe I need to break something. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Just discover the exit organically somehow. What the hell? I smell a pink achievement. Ah, okay, fine. Can I brick and brick and roll down here? No, never mind. with a slide. Oh man. Not going for distance. Oh, looks like I needed to. Can I ride this dude? Oh. No. Oh, this is the thing. I was gonna brick it. Very clearly still not 100% used to the, um... What the game determines to be foreground, foreground and background, like for example, this. I mean, obviously, I needed it in order to get across here, but still. Yeah. Okay. The last one was by background, man. Kind of. What a freak out. Good. Get back into the red. I say that because I'm still expecting my uh, pink achievement. Legs. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. Let's go ahead and brick this. Ah, tick tock. Tick tock. Need to get more dudes. But you can do some here. One. This one is two, so we go this way. Very faint, right? You look at that, it's like, yeah, it has to be because I need something across that gap. But at the same time, in any other situation, I would not look at that and say, I can jump on that thing. These things, yes, clearly. Well, fine, I'll help you move. I was hoping to fling me all the way back. Boyong. I wonder if I can actually do that. Well, let me... Oh my gosh. Oh, clearly, there's a thing over there. Now we have a third. Didn't even see that. I was so focused. Uh, I know you saw it. Let's go get it. Hold on. Let's try this, though. Cool. Just gotta try it. Now we have to get... Uh, let me see. Do this. This thing's gonna scoop me up somehow. Ah, I see. Some rocks. These little guys? These guys can jump on these little guys? Nope. Just checking. I am jumping behind it, so... Oh, can I cross this? Oh, crap. Not quite. There's a gap. Oh, it ends... Oh, it ends at the thicker part. Sorry. Okay, wow. Yes, yeah, so it's, it is uh, quite the gap, or make the jump onto the top of this thing because that's very clearly a solid object right very clearly guys <laughs> oh shit i thought for sure i made that jump let's see i don't need these guys oh that's kind of kind of close isn't it I i'll jump on it from the um i'm just kind of looking to see where the next blades are going i can just jump on it from here well how steep can she jump on oh no she can't she's ah what is the steepness? Let's see. Nope. There you go. Okay, so now I get the angle. Sorry, it's an angle thing. Like I said, you don't actually know. So it's still a pretty good angle though, right? Like, so it's like right about there. Question is now, can I move this? whole thing from up here or do I want to it doesn't matter I got the thing I came here for ah cannot that's actually interesting because I should from this angle yeah yeah it should maybe it's smaller I can spend all day on that we're gonna make our way across this bridge Right here. Nope, can't jump on that, but it moves. I broke apart that little st- Aw, it was balanced there. <laughs> Some adventure before me set that up. Sign of life. Well, the entire game is a metaphor, so I guess... Sign of... Apparition? <laughs> Something? Or was it... The apparition. Huh. Another rock formation in here. A storm of butterflies. Loose formation here. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at you. I don't actually know if this is the correct way. Hold up. The first two, because I just wanted to, you know, a little bit of intimidation beforehand. Kind of feel like I need to s smash all the buildings here. We'll slide. Are we going to slide? Yep. Slides automatically, by the way. Let's slide on this. No. Hmm. Interesting. 
that was an identical rock formation to the first one that I smashed. And that is because I am in an identical room. Except for the top part. If nothing, this is a very intriguing platformer. Oh. I cannot seem to connect to any of these. Not from this angle anyways. Or enough of them. Down jump doesn't seem to work here. Ah, there's a platform at the bottom here. There's a dot up there. Is that an active dot? No, that's the uh, socket, I guess, for the wisp. Is this really out? Like, no, this is a different area. Oh, there's a thing right down there. Damn it. Uh, wait, let's get to it. Can I? Uh, I don't see actually how to. I can't drop down here. There's none of the platform we jump onto. Unless those are platform, those pipes will let me jump on them. No, they do not. Okay. Can't make it from the top. Oh, dang, I have to go back up. Oh, wait a minute, did that move? Placebo. Or not placebo, but, uh, yeah. Just visual. Did not move. How am I supposed to get that? <laughs> it's gonna drive me nuts. Oh, well. That's that. Can't go up there. Slide me back down. Okay. Oh, there's a rock down here you can break. Damn it. Ah. <laughs> ah, that's how you correct this whole thing. Got it. Man, was that obvious at the beginning? I, I don't feel like the camera zoomed out enough for me to see that uh, the broken block down there. It's uh, The intention clearly was to let me fail. I did not get up there in time to go and get that. Wow. <gasps> wow. They got me again. Or did they? They did not. They are teaching me how to play this game. Now let me get this. I don't want to waste some more time, so let's do this. There we go. Oh wait, um... I was gonna try to jump on that and then jump over. Oh lord. Lord have mercy. That is their little uh, umbrella at the bottom. Umbrella dress. I'm guessing we'll get a glide and... I can imagine a glide or some kind of double jump mechanic or something. It's a platformer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second then. How am I going to get up there? Can I, jump, can I get it from here? Yeah, I can't. I can't make this jump and then... Oh, wait, can I beat it up? Like, if I go all the way down, can I actually beat it to the top? I can indeed. Very cool. Breaks. The giant slide was to basically corral you. Okay, that was at the end of this whole thing. Those so far have not necessarily felt like they were needed. More so extracurricular. The wisps, the little wisps that float around you, seem like those were the ones that were needed in order to even progress. So... Oh, there's a gang of the little dudes now. Okay, okay. I see. Not until the camera zooms in. Now I can make that bridge. Yep. Oh. What? Why? Ah, the left one. So clearly.
Clearly the game wants us to go to the left one. Or right one, sorry. Check to that well, is that is a solid? That looks like a solid. Well, it's a floating solid. And it's got a thing on the other side of it. Can I can I just punk my way through here? Nope. I'll be honest, I thought that sun in the back was a uh, hold on, Buster. I thought that sun in the back was a was a autosave <laughs> thing. You'll see it when we go outside again. Guess where you're going? Oops. Oh. <gasps> I just wanted to break the top. Now where'd he go? Get in that rock, dude. Huh. There's our last, uh... The last wisp that we need. Make our way back over here. I'll plug it in and then the game will continue from there. The experience. Whoop. Whoop. Ah. Ah, oh, just barely. There we go. Now let me in. Pretty interesting puzzle so far. Some of them feel a little obvious. Some of them... require a bit of luck. Can I jump on that? Eh, no, there's no way. I wonder if that, it doesn't have the double white line here. You see there's a white line, the stroke, I guess you call it. So I'm going to go ahead and guess you cannot jump on that. Wow. This is the boss fight, by the way. You know, walking a place like this is like, oh, this is where the boss fight happens. <laughs> oh, interesting. Can I go get an extra fat version of this? A big ass fat Goliath cube. Is like a longer dress? Hmm, it's corralling me, isn't it? Show sure is. Let me see. I'm missing something here. Can I go down? Oh, yes, I can. Good. Oh, you cannot. This is uh, not the way I was meant to go. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, I'm looking for a stop point to this because, you know, we, we got to stop the show. <laughs> Sometime soon. But I don't know where to leave you guys hanging. This might be it. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, these things can be stepped on. This has a white stroke to it. It's gonna be your biggest challenge here. Look at this. Like this one you can walk on. And this is the height you fall from. I was wrong. Yeah, so your biggest challenge in this game is going to be where's the where's the thin white line? I'm sitting a good distance away from my monitor, so that's a very thin white line. <laughs> it's now making me reconsider like how far I sit from my monitor. <laughs> they put it right in my face apparently. There's more white right here. And before you start saying glasses, because I'm old, I have LASIK, all right? I have better vision than... than robots. Like, mediocre robots, though, not like the good ones. The good ones got pretty good vision. Probably better than mine. Maybe. Definitely not one eye, though. One eye is like a cyborg eye. It's pretty good.
You know what this looks like? Besides another wallpaper. <laughs> this looks like the perfect place to cut off this show. The game is called Gris. Currently available on Steam for $16.99. The soundtrack also available on Steam at $9.99. Um, personally, this soundtrack is a win. Uh, it is very soothing, very relaxing. And obviously the art is a win. The storytelling is quite interesting. It is very metaphorically heavy. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of interpretations. Yeah, there's, there's probably, I mean, I'm not far enough to really pinpoint exactly what this is. I have a few guesses, of course, but nothing that, you know, is concrete um, because there's so much symbolism that the game uses. It's everywhere in the title. My only complaint is that it is sometimes difficult to see exactly where it is I'm supposed to jump. I mean, from this distance here, clearly you already know what you can jump on, what you, what you can and can't jump on. But if there's other parts of the game where you're zoomed out and you have to figure out where you're supposed to be able to jump, it's going to be very difficult to see what that is. Uh, but other than that, like, and that's a minor thing. Like, that's a minor thing. I mean, it just takes a little bit of time and just jumping around. You know that there's somewhere you can jump on. Just go look for things that are kind of, like, jumpable looking. Um, that's a beautiful shot, too. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very much sold on this game. From the, uh, art perspective, the, uh, music perspective, for sure. The storytelling, obviously, this song uh, is the, still... Needs a bit more time to really tell. See what's going on. But that's it. My name is Mike B. This is Indy for breakfast. Hope you guys have a good day. I will see you later.